ugly night, I would say. Oh, wait, which team? Which team are you not a fan of? <clears throat> Poppy and uh, Pony? <laughs> that team lose and that team win. Well, all right, let us get started. The B team versus Skew Rocks. The B team is in the top three, I believe, and Skew Rocks, unfortunately for them, I believe they're seventh. So let us see what they can do. All right, so I know that Skooks was at least rushing a little bit to get home, but an, and Brooke already with a nice open net. I'm not quite sure what happened there. That uh, was a double commit. Pony Boy was beat to it by Skooks. A good challenge by him, and Brooke was able to just put that in the net. So one of the things in twos is that if you go for a passing play like that, you got to make sure that you score it. Otherwise, you're going to get punished. So unfortunately for Pony Boy and Poppy, ooh, that's a bad kickoff for them. But Pony Boy with some nice control, grabbing some boost, popping that high, trying to stay with it. He's looking for Poppy, it looks like. That's a good pass. Nice settle from him. He's looking for a flick. Aw. Uh, he did not quite get that flick, but Brooke is going to take it up off the left-hand side. And I don't think she was going for, uh, I don't think she got the touch that she was looking for. But Ponyboy with a nice touch. Skooks is up. Ooh, Skooks faking out Ponyboy, but Poppy's going to be able to take that one. All right, Lindsay, you voting, you voting for the B team? I am very surprised with that. It's not like you're uh, connected to the B team at all. But, you know, let's go ahead. So... Again, Brooke with a very nice touch, trying to stay with it. Looks like she's going for a pass. A nice attempt. <laughs> wow, Rex, how's uh, how's your barbecue, man? Uh, aren't you having a barbecue for a uh, birthday, I believe you said? So hopefully you're enjoying that. And enjoy your 420, because I'm pretty sure you're celebrating it. So Brooke with some nice defense. Poppy not going to be able to get that one. Brooke, ooh, she got a pass. Bone boy, I think she actually faked him. But Poppy with a nice challenge. But unfortunately for Poppy... Brooke had the control, and despite him landing on top of her, she was able to put it on. So, unfortunate for Poppy, but good control from Brooke. <laughs> Jeez, Rex, you're savage. All right, so two to one, apparently, in Skew, Skew Rocks' favor, in the chat at least. But Poppy going for a control, not quite getting it. Brooke is up. That's going to be high, and Ponyboy's going to have that... Ooh, Brooke, unfortunately. Ooh, Skooks going for the fake. Brooke trying to flick it on. Not able to get that, though. Ponyboy trying to take it out. Brooke settling it, dribbling it mid. That's good control from her. Doesn't get it past Poppy. That's a good challenge from him. Skooks is there. Ooh, unfortunately not quite reading it. Oh, and Brooke! Ponyboy was ex certainly expecting her to hit that, but she missed. And unfortunately for him, he was not ready for that. So, Poppy trying to settle it, and Pony Boy, that's a little bit of a double commit, but it's all right as Brooke whiffs it. Skooks doesn't have any boost, and he just gifts that to Pony Boy. That is unfortunate from him. So, yep. So, honestly, if I were him, I wouldn't have done what he had done. I would have stayed low to the ground and then just tried to boom it fast across the net, because you got to know that Pony Boy is coming. Uh, he's not going to let that. <laughs> you, you, you slipped. All right. Well, unfortunate for him, but, you know, it happens. That is a good touch. Skooks is there, but a good challenge by Ponyboy. Ponyboy, oh, he's looking for that pass. That's a good pass. Oh, and a double whiff. That is a big rip from both of them. Skooks, I think he's looking for a pass. Pops it up. Can he get the dribble? Oh, that would have been a very nice dribble if he had gotten it, but unfortunately for him, he was not quite there. Broke with a nice shot, and that... It's gonna go in. I think uh, I think they were just expecting it to be off. What, what happened here exactly? So a nice pop from her, and then just low into the bottom corner, and, and neither of them could get there. So well done from Brooke. Very well done from her. So three one the score, and the B team is looking to come back, but a very good solid game. Um, but as with many games that I feel at least I've casted, the first game is usually where people start to warm up. So the second and the second game, like, people are starting to warm up just a little bit more, but the third game is really where it starts to pop up and everyone's warmed up. So let us see if Skooks and Brooke can keep this up, but very good play from them. Some, just a little bit of miscommunication, I think, for Ponyboy and Poppy, but good from them overall. So Ponyboy taking his time. That's done nicely. Skooks trying to get there. 
and he does just controlling it very nicely done by him pony boy does get the 50 and poppy pushed up a little bit far but brooke got bumped and he actually got lucky that she did not hit there a nice pass to pony boy well done i think he's looking for that dribble maybe oh and what a fake that's an open net and pony boy will not miss that one a beautiful fake on to skooks a nice cut and skooks went flying agony for skooks but a great play by pony boy so kudos to him and two to three still a minute and 30 left poppy looking for the pop but not quite gonna get it though pony boy that's not gonna be on target but you know brooke is gonna take it away to the side poppy's trying to put that on target not quite getting there though wait i honestly thought that was a little bit off target but uh brooke with a miss flip and poppy kind of got a little bit lucky there oh she flipped she thought i think she thought it was going faster than it was so she flipped into it it's a big rip from her but poppy versace will be the one to tie it up to make it 3-3 a nice beat from pony boy on to brooke popping that one mid but no one is there oh he's going for himself oh that would have been a beautiful touch pony boy does pop it high but the only person who's going to collect it is brooke who's looking for the shot maybe not getting the touch she wants poppy misreading that one Pony Boy absolutely dunking her. Ooh, that would have been a nice pass to Poppy, but unfortunately for him, Skooks was there. A good 50 from Brooke coming out. She's looking to pop it up. Pops it up, but it's uh, it's not really a good pass, and Skooks is going to miss flip there. So Brooke... Ooh, a nice bump from Skooks, actually. <laughs> Dang, Rex, you are such a savage. That's a great ball, and can anyone follow it up from Skooks? Unfortunately, they can't, and Poppy does get the dunk on to Skooks. Poppy's trying to control it. Does not get the touch he wants. Pop Pony Boy's up. That's going to be high, though. Scoops. Ooh, with a nice flick on. But Poppy is going to be able to collect it. Oh, and completely fakes out the other team. A double commit from them is going to make it 4-3 to three with only 11 seconds left. A nice cut from Poppy and completely faking out the opposition. Well done from him. Is that copy pasta, buddy? Is that copy pasta? That's copy pasta. All right, so Poppy is up trying to make something happen, maybe just buying some time, but that's a, that's a good pop, though. Pony Boy is gonna be up, and that, unless, ooh, Skook's looking for the own goal, but not able to get it, and the B team will be the game number one match winners. <laughs> I think he was going for the own goal, but you know, not quite getting it. Not going to add to that stat. But uh, I do want to say that due to some work between me, Smoke and Toe, and Silent Shot, we actually were able to get some scenes together to make it so that we uh, we would make it a, the transitions a lot smoother. And the only thing I would have to do is just change the team names in Rocket League itself. But as you can see, the game for the B team is already up there. So, uh <clears throat> Thanks to them and all the hard work that they have put in, and I appreciate everything that they've done. So, Poppy looking for something fancy. Skook's getting beat by it, but Brooke is not going to be beat by it. Pony Boy is... I think that's on target. Skooks is up. Oh! Oh! That is so unlucky for Brooke. A nice lofted shot from Pony Boy. And Skooks is up. Not able to quite get there. And Brooke got a touch on it, but not enough to get it out of the way. So that is going to be the first goal going over to the B team within 15 seconds. So Pointy Boy again looking up off the wall, looking. Ooh. He got the flip reset, but not on target. So Brooke is going to collect that one, take it away. Poppy's trying to pop that mid, but I don't think anyone's there except for Skooks. Boomed it away, kind of passing it right back. Oh, or Poppy's just going to peel off of it. Brooke challenges Pony, but Pony Boy does get it past her. Skooks is being a pestilence to Poppy. And it's... Oh, Poppy. Miss reading that one. So does Brooke. So Skooks is going to take this one. Driving backwards. Uh, <laughs> great attempt, Skooks. I like the thought, but not quite working out for you, bud. Pony Boy's a beast. Oh, and Skooks with a nice bump. But unfortunately for him, Poppy had a very nice recovery. Now Pony Boy is up, trying to put it mid. It gets it past... Oh, doesn't get it past Skooks, apparently. 
All right, Brook is up, getting a nice clearance from that one. Skooks is going to follow this, trying to put it mid for his teammate, but Ponyboy is going to be able to get back in time. Brook is there, does beat Ponyboy. I believe that's on target, but Poppy got spawned at the perfect time. So Brook is going to challenge him. Ponyboy tries to get that past him. Ooh, Skooks pops that. That's a miss hit. But Poppy with a nice shot on target, but Brook is going to be there for that one. Brooke is moving that one down. She's trying to stay with it. Never mind. She grabs boost. She's up though after Pony Boy hits it off the corner. She's trying to pass it back to Skooks. It does get there a little bit faster than he was expecting. Pony Boy is going to be able to beat, beat Brooke to that one. She's going to turn for it. That would be a nice goal, but unfortunately, it's going to be a little off to the left. Though she does take out her frustration on Pony Boy though. <laughs> And Brooke is going back, grabbing some boost. Ooh, does not get the touch that she wants. Trying to settle it, controlling it. Gets it past one, but got bumped away. Pony Boy is putting that back into the corner. That's popping mid, and Brooke is able to get that 50. Poppy's trying to get back. Does get a touch, but it's only to Brooke. And that's... Ooh, Brooke with a nice touch, and that is going to be the tie. The equalizer coming out from Brooke. Poppy passing it straight to Brooke herself, who just went for the double touch. Got it very nicely. And with almost half time here, it is going to be 1-1. All right, so Skooks booming this one to the other end. That's going to go straight mid. He's not going to be able to read that one, but Poppy is going to be able to read that one. He puts it. Oh, he's going for the ceiling shot. Oh, that would have been nice, but Brooke has the good save. So unfortunately for him, he took just a little bit too much time, and Brooke was totally able to read that one because she knew exactly what he was going for. But this is going to pop down to Poppy, who pops it up, miss jumps, and Skooks almost own gold, but Brooke is able to be there for that save. So she's trying to outplay Pony. She does get the 50. She's looking for her teammate. Nope, she's going for the flick but no one was there to capitalize on it. So Pony Boy is going to take it up. He's looking. Oh, I thought he would go for the double touch, but Brooke is going to take that one. Oh, but po uh, Poppy putting that one just a little bit too high. Pony Boy now popping that one mid. Ooh, and a nice save from Skooks. Not quite sure why he didn't get the save there, but he's following up. Ooh, with a nice dunk. That's out to Brooke. She's popping it mid. Not quite on target. She challenges Poppy for it, though. Ooh, and that's over Skooks and Poppy with a miss flick, actually. He's not going to be either able to get there. Oh, and Skooks absolutely balling Poppy. But Pony Boy is not going to be balled that time. So Brooke pops it up. She follows it. She's looking to put this one on target. Does get a lofted hit, but that's going to be high. Pony Boy is able to read that one. Booms it down the field. And Brooke is on defense trying to make something happen for her team. Again, they are 1-0. Or, sorry... They are one game down, and they need a goal here in order to tie it up. Poppy, not quite sure if that ooh, flip was planned, but Ponyboy not able to put that one on target. And Brooke collecting this one, popping that one over one, but Ponyboy is not going to be able to get beat by that. And Skooks 15 him, a good 50 from him. That's over in the corner. Poppy not going to be able to read that one. Brooke pops that mid, but Ponyboy is the only person who's going to be there. Now Skooks is up, trying to put that down the field, but he doesn't have any boost. And Poppy Versace, ooh, and Brooke missing it. That's an open net, and Poppy Versace, all right. He doesn't get that missed open net. He got a nice double touch. Not quite sure if that's what he was looking for, but Brooke missing that one. But nice read from Poppy. A good double touch, a good double touch. So I will say one thing, uh, Skooks, he didn't have any boost. He knew Poppy was going to get there, and honestly, I think he should have just turned away. He probably wasn't going to get the dunk. He didn't have any boost. I would have recommended that he just go back, but that's just that's just what I say. And Brooke, unfortunately, just misread it, so it happens. But Brooke challenging Poppy for that one. That's not going to be on target. Pony Boy giving her some space and time. She pops it over him. She's trying to pop in mid with only nine seconds left. They need something to happen now. And Scoot's not able to read that one. Pony Boy's trying to put that one past. But, ooh. All right, that is going to be game number two going the way of the B team as well. So the B team looking very strong and then unfortunate from Brooke and Skooks as their misses unfortunately let in a goal for them, letting it go to two to one for the B team. <clears throat> so a good double touch from Poppy, but uh, just look at that. Seven shots and five saves. Really well done from Brooke. Good, solid defense and just so much attack and play coming out from the B team. 
But uh, it, the scoreboard, at least, again, the two games are going over the way of the B team. But unfortunately for Screw Rocks, it's... I feel like they've been putting up a good fight, and the scoreboard just isn't showing that. So, unfortunate for them. Ooh, Poppy with a nice touch, but Skooks is able to read that one. A good read from both of them right there. Pony Boy settling it down. Miss touching it, and Brooke... Oh, I would have loved to see her go for the demo. I think it would have been a better play, but uh, she went for the ball. Not quite getting it. Poppy's up, getting it past Skooks. Skooks is up, not quite touching it. Brooke does get the touch, though. She's staying with it off the wall. Pony Boy is going to be able to get it past her. Now Poppy in his corner tries to take it away. Ooh, trying to put it over Brooke, but she has a nice redirect, putting it back into her corner. That's mid for Pony Boy, but Brooke again with the defensive clearance. Pony Boy getting beat by Brooke, who pops it high. Poppy's got to save that, and he does. Now it's Poppy versus Scoox. Scoox with a good, fast challenge, getting it past Poppy. And Pony Boy trying to get the clearance to Poppy, but Brooke with a mistouch actually going to kind of get it to him. Now it's back. I don't know whose possession it is. Now it's Brooke's, I guess. <laughs> but she's settling it, trying to get a flick, and not quite getting it as Poppy had a good read. So Skooks is popping that one mid. Pony Boy's up. Doesn't get a touch, but unfortunately for Brooke, she thought he would. So Poppy going up with a nice pop mid. He's looking for a ceiling. Oh, that was a nice shot, but a good save from Brooke. Very well done from both her and Poppy. So now Brooke trying to ball, but... Or Skooks, uh, I apologize, going for the ball. Not quite getting it, though. Brooke controlling it, getting it past Poppy. But Poppy might be able to get the demo on here. Brooke just kind of giving away possession. Pops that mid. Ooh, she doesn't get the read, though. Pony Boy is going to take it up the wall on the other side. An awkward flight is going to allow Skooks, I believe, to get that one. Pony Boy does steal his boost, though, so it's not without its uh, repercussions. So Brooke is there trying to get that on. It gets it past Pony Boy, who went for the demo onto Skooks. Now she's controlling it, gets it past Poppy, but she can't really do much with it. Poppy with a good challenge on her. Skooks booms it towards the corner. Maybe he's looking for the read off the corner. Gets it high and wide, though. Brooke is there on the other side first, though. Poppy just kind of stalling it in front of his own net. Unfortunate for him, but nothing's going to come out of that. So Skooks going for the 50, does beat Poppy, and Pony Boy gets the reverse 50 onto him. Pony Boy trying to put that on target, but Brooke was there. Poppy, that's a weak touch. It should be, a, yep, a good hit from Skooks. Brooke is going to take control of this one. She puts that, I think, just a little bit wide. Poppy's going to be there, taking it up to the other side. He's looking again for a ceiling shot. I believe this is his third. Oh, and flipping just a little bit too early. I think he had that, but Skooks, I think, being a little bit toxic. Ooh, a nice touch from Brooke. She's taking it down to the other side. Poppy's going for the challenge. Brooke, can she get the touch mid? Not quite. Poppy is going to be able to get there first. Pony Boy beats everyone else to it. Skooks is there, trying to make something happen. But, ooh, all right. Brooke trying to take control. Poppy with a nice 50. Popping that one to the corner. Ooh, and Skooks with a bad miss. Pony Boy's taking control of it. Brooke is there, though. Oh, and Pony Boy with an absolute fake. That was a brilliant fake, but Brooke is able to get back. Well done from her. A great fake from Pony Boy, but he was being selfless, giving it to Poppy, who could not quite get it. An unfortunate pinch from Skooks. And Pony Boy is going to be able to take that first goal away. With nice aggression, and Scoos just was not able to get there fast enough, making it 1-0 to zero for the B team in this third game. All right, Pony Boy does get the 50 off. That is mid. Brooks up. She's beating Poppy, and a nice quick goal from her is going to tie it back up after just going down a couple seconds earlier. So a nice jump from her, beating Poppy to the ball, getting it into the back of the net. Solidly done from her with a minute and 11 seconds left. All tied up. They do need the reverse sweep if they want to take the points away from this one. Skoo Rocks desperately need it. Scoots went to the bump, and that's a beautiful, beautiful way to be a bully. Beautifully done from him. Scoots, ah, man, I wish I could see it. 
But Skooks just putting the pressure on the Poppy, making it so he could not make the save. And Brook just had an open net to put that in. So well done from the two of them, making it two to one for Skew Rocks. And now Skoos trying to add to that tally, trying to make it 3-1. Not going to quite work, but Brooke does get the 50. She does beat Poppy. That's an open net. If Skoos can get there, Skoos puts it on target. But Ponyboy with a great save. Still keeping it at 2-1. Skoos putting that one away to the other side. Poppy is going to control it. But Brooke with a nice 50. Now she... I think she was going for a shot. Not quite getting it, though. All right, Ponyboy is turned around. Does get a nice 50, though. Pops it high, but Brooke should be there. Well done from her. Scoose is up looking. Ooh, he gets a touch mid, but Pointing Boy is going to be there first. Now, Brooke has her chance putting it up the right hand of the wall, going into the corner, but Pointing Boy is able to read that off the wall. Now, Scoops just waiting. I think he's wasting time or just maybe waiting for boost. Gets a pop over Pony Boy. That's a good pop from him. That's high in mid. Brooke should be there first. Well done from her. Buying some time that they desperately need, and that is going to be game number three going the way of Scoo Rocks. A hard fought game for them, but great tenacity from them going one nil down and then being able to turn around and make it 2 1. <laughs> All right, so give me one second. I do need just a sip of water. My throat is kind of dry. All right, well, again, Brooke and Skooks, they need the reverse sweep in order to take the points away from this one. It's going to be hard. It's going to take time. It's going to take patience, but it's also going to take aggression, in my opinion. I think that the best way to beat Pony and Poppy would be for Skooks to apply a lot of pressure. Um, I think that he should go for demos as he's coming around. To me, that just makes a lot of sense. Pony Boy going for a nice attempt at a demo. But Brook is going to be able to read that one. Skews putting the pressure on, winning the ball, but it's only going to go over to Pony Boy. He's dribbling it, tries to get it past Brook, who actually got the last touch, and Skews with a good challenge. Pony Boy is turning. He does get it past Skews, but Brook is on the defense. She has the ball, but it's 2v1. I should create a quarantine league, buddy. This is quarantine league currently, but Brook able to be both team members of the B team. And making it 1-0 for her team, Skoo Rocks. So a nice pop from her. And I believe that was Poppy who went up for that. Not able to get there. So it's going to be 1-0 for Skoo Rocks. Ooh. All right. And an unfortunate kickoff for Skoo Rocks. But Pony Boy and Poppy will definitely take that. Unfortunate, just going off the wall, <laughs> straight in. And Skooks, he might have been able to get there, but he was not able to read that one in time. So 420, blaze it. All right, you missed it now. But it's going mid. Brooke is there. She does get the touch, a necessary touch from her. Now Skooks pops that back mid. Brooke's popping it back out to the side. Skooks is staying with it. But Ponyboy is going to take possession of this one. Brooke is going to loft it high, but Poppy is going to be there to make the save. Skooks does is able to pop in mid, but Ponyboy is there to make the save. Unfortunately for him, I don't think it uh, gave him the save. But uh, it was it was a save, honestly. So Poppy going to be able to boom that one away. Or Ponyboy, I apologize. Brooke taking that one away to the side. Poppy, though, does have an open net. Mm, I kind of want to say that was a missed open net. Ooh! What? Alright, so honestly, I think you should have put that one in right there, but Brooke is... Unfortunately, she's going to pop it right into Poppy. You did get the dunk, popping it right back into that top corner. So, unfortunate for Scoo Rocks, but Poppy will definitely take that one. It was a good challenge from him. So, Pointy Boy's up, but Scoos is going to be able to get that one. Brooke now taking control of it. Doesn't have much boost, but she's off the wall. Trying to put it mid for her teammate. And Scoose is there, but he pops it high again. And Poppy taking that one away to the right-hand side. Not quite getting the touch that he wants. Now he's trying to recover. Scoose does 50 him. 
And Pony Boy is going to be the first one there. Brook unfortunately got beat, so that... Okay, Pony Boy put that one a little bit too far past Poppy. So it's not going to be punished just yet, at least. And Poppy decided to tell Pony Boy that this was his ball and bumped him away. Brook with a nice shot on target, but Pony Boy had the response for that one. Popping that back mid, and Pony Boy does get the save. But off of the challenge, Brook is going to be able to make it 2-2 two to two again. Tying it up. A good challenge by Pony Boy, but unfortunately for him, he just went right past the ball after he made that initial save, enabling Brook's dunk to go in. So, 2 minutes, 44 seconds left, and it is all tied up. So, Skooks, ooh, that popped a little bit higher than him, but a good recovery from him is going to deny Poppy that goal. Now, Brook pops it over Pony. That's a great pop from her. And she can't quite get around it. Pops in mid. Scoops with a nice demo, but I think Brooke was looking for the pass. And a Poppy a little bit tilted. Puts Sick into the chat. Again. Ooh, okay. Brooke with a very interesting touch, but I believe Poppy with a nice bump is going to let Ponyboy just put that one on target and get the goal. Scoops, I think, actually turned into it, but Poppy with a nice bump is gonna let Ponyboy make it three to two. All right, so that does pop mid. No one is gonna claim it just yet, but Skooks was trying to pop it down and over, but not quite getting it. Poppy does try to get it past Brooke. She's there, she's taking possession, gets it past one. But Poppy is stealing boost. He's being a bully. Ponyboy's up. That's an open net for him, and he is not going to miss. Make it at 4-2 to two for the B team. A good 50 from Ponyboy, and then just a good read. Able to put that one in, and I believe Skoos was going for boost. So unfortunate for him, but it is going to cost him. And I believe they were going for the uh, fake, but Poppy getting 50 by Brooke. So it's not going to be a uh, clear on goal chance just yet. But Poppy was up. Ponyboy was up. And I think <gasps> another savage demo from Poppy Versace enabling Ponyboy again. He's being absolutely savage. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, the chat... <laughs> The chat is popping off a little bit in-game. Poppy was incredibly psyched about his own ability right there, and Skooks was a little bit annoyed. But Brooke with a nice pass to Skooks, who is going to be able to put that one in and make it at 5-3. to three. A nice beat from Brooke onto Ponyboy, and Skooks just had an open net just to pop that one in and claim the points and give Brooke the assist. Thank you, Meadows. I appreciate that. Unless you're being sarcastic, in which case. But I don't think you were. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. All right. So it pops up. There's only a minute 30 left. Brooke and Skooks need something. But the B team is on the offensive. A nice save from Brooke. Ponyboy is going to be able to put that on target. And Poppy, again, was being such a bully. Brooke with a great save. And Skooks just not able to get back. I'm pretty sure because Poppy was just being a complete bully to him. So it is going to be a rip arena for Skooks. But Brooke and Skooks do need something. They need three goals in a minute and 15 seconds. It's going to be rough. It's going to be hard. But I believe that they can do it. But the B team does have some really good pressure happening right now. And Brooke, whoo, barely making that save. But still keeping her team somewhat in this. So Pony Boy going for the shot. Not quite getting it. <laughs> Spam this through rock. <laughs> I love it, B. All right, Brooke now taking it. She does have an open net. Scoops, I think, was... Oh, what a nice fake! Is gonna fake out Bobby Versace. And Pony Boy going for the demo. Brooke just cuts it ever so slightly. Getting it around him. Well done. Oh, Smurf throwing some shade out against the b-side because the next game in case you were not aware is uh what are we going with no names no names versus escahoes so uh still let's get back to this game 40 seconds of brook and skooks do needs two goals still 
Okay, all right. Pony Boy not going to be able to get that one, but Poppy does get Brooks clearance. Skooks is there, tries to get it past Pony. Pony's on defense. Oh, I thought Skooks was going to go for the demo. That would have been amazing. All right, so Skooks getting demoed by Pony. That's that's a tilter. Brooke trying to pop that one up, but Poppy with a nice challenge. And with 10 seconds left, ooh, a nice demo and Skooks putting that one in to make it 5-6. A brilliant demo from Brooke and an open net for Skooks to put it in. Pony Boy was not expecting that. So, Skooks, there is a chance. I see you in the chat. There is a chance for you and Brooke to still come away with this, but you need something and you need it now. So, Skooks gunning for it, putting that high. Poppy not able to make it. And with four seconds left, Skooks ties it up again in game number four. Skooks with a nice lofted shot and Poppy, unfortunately for him, was not able to read it. And Skurox able to make that six to three comeback with four seconds in the left. And now it is going into overtime. A great resilience coming out from Skurox right here. Now, do they have what it takes to score that overtime goal to take it to game number five? Poppy's up looking for a dribble and absolutely bedazzles Skooks, making it seven to six. Unfortunate for Skooks. Poppy had a good dribble, just popping that one high into the left hand corner. So that is going to be the first series of the night going over to the B team again. So unfortunate for Skooks, but a great showing from Scoo Rocks here. All right, so let us now go ahead and get into the next game. Again, just give me one second and I will be able to switch it over. I will be able to switch over the names, etc. 